Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove a tattoo in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, it's all about tattoo removal. This is a much cheaper and quicker way of doing it in real life. We're gonna show you how to do a rough removal using the spot healing brush tool. Then we're gonna show you how to use your brush tool to go in and sample and paint. This is gonna smooth the skin out and give you a realistic look. And to finish the episode off, we're gonna show you how to add texture back to the skin. That way, if you remove something, you still have the skin texture intact. All right, guys, it's time to remove this tattoo. Let's jump into Photoshop, and we're gonna start off with the rough removal first. So I'm gonna zoom into our tattoo here, and you can see it's a large tattoo. I like, <laughs> I was choosing images for this episode. I'm like, I'm not gonna choose a small, like small tattoo with people, you need to get the goods. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove all this. So I'm gonna create a new layer. And with this, we're gonna start off with our first tool, which is the spot healing brush tool. So spot healing brush tool. And then there are a couple options we need to look at. The first of the option, your mode here, you want this to be normal, okay? You want your type to be content aware. That's really important. That's gonna help bring everything back together when you're using the healing brush tool. And the next, Option here, you wanna make sure you have sample all layers checked, and that's gonna allow you to do this on a new layer. Okay, now from here, basically our goal is to go in and paint right over top of that tattoo. So I don't have to hit alt or option, I don't have to sample because it's a spot healing brush tool. Literally, I just go in and I paint right over top of the tattoo. And I'm gonna do this in sections. This tool does a lot better when you work in smaller sections. So painting right over the top of the tattoo, I'm gonna let go, and that's what we get. And you may think like, eh, that doesn't look that great. Um, you're right, it really didn't look that great. But you just do it over again, and eventually the tool finds its way. So you can see, I'm not like, I'm not being super accurate here. Basically, it's figuring out, okay, they, uh, I guess they want the tattoo gone, and I want, you know. <laughs> this is not gonna give you like a finished product. What this tool does, basically, it, seek, it seeks out areas. So for instance, if I start down here, and I paint right over top of there, that should get rid of that completely. It tries to find other areas that are similar and predict what you wanna get rid of. So by surrounding a tattoo with a lot of skin, that's how it knows you wanna get rid of the tattoo, not the skin. All right, there we go. And sometimes you just have to paint over and over again. All right, now I would not like leave a process like this completely to one of these tools. In other words, I'm doing this knowing that it's not gonna be perfect, but it's actually a really quick way to get most of the way there. Cause you can see like, although the tattoo is gone there, look how blotchy this looks. It just doesn't look that great. So that's why we're gonna come in with step two. So let's go ahead and continue painting over top of this skin. You can see I'm really just kind of like <laughs> doing this and if it doesn't look good, like you can see it tried to pull from the dress. It's pulling from the dress again there. Um, just paint over here. It'll do a really good job on those. Well, on that one anyway. All right, and if I come from the bottom here and kind of paint up, then it's it just kind of figures out what's, what is skin. Just make sure you include some skin in, there we go, in your selection whenever you're painting, and it's gonna help you out. All right, now this looks like she was spent some time in a toaster oven, but um, other than that, looks really, it's actually going super quick. All right. There we go, so we're gonna go all the way up to the edge there. There we go. Paint this in. All right, and keep in mind guys, I'm choosing to do a big tattoo here. So if you're doing a small tattoo, you would have probably been done already. All right, now we're gonna make our brush a little bit larger. There we go. Take care of some of these areas. All right, so you can see, you're like, eh, that doesn't look that great, Aaron. Um, that's why we have step two coming up, guys. Okay, so let's get, make our brush a little bit smaller. We'll go ahead and paint some of this stuff away. All right. There we go. Okay, and we'll go ahead and get rid of this one as well with the same technique. So basically just painting right over top of it. All right. Maybe I'll just try to do it all in one. We'll see if it works. That's pretty dang good, actually. 
All right, so there we go. That is step one done. So if you have a, something that looks like this, I'm gonna try to blur that a little bit more. It didn't do that. All right, well, we'll just say there is step one. We have an arm, it doesn't look good. It's like splotchy and it, you know, it's not the finished version, but the tattoo is gone. So this is perfect for step one. So if you can get to this point, you're pretty much done with the tattoo. Step two is really easy. Cool, all right, here in step two, we're gonna be painting over top of the skin. And this is actually easier than it sounds. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the brush tool and I'm gonna use a low flow, which means that I'm not gonna be building a lot of pressure up. What I'm gonna do is sample the skin and then paint right over it. It's gonna help smooth it out quite a bit. So here on a new layer, we always wanna create new layers, whatever I do, I'm just gonna use my regular brush tool, okay? Now we wanna choose a fairly large brush there we go. And you also wanna choose a brush with low hardness. So in this case, I've got a hardness of zero and a size of 519 pixels. Now the size is gonna depend on your image, but basically you'll get an idea of what I'm doing here in a second. You wanna choose about as large of a brush as the areas you're gonna paint. So before I go in and paint, I'm gonna kinda of talk to you, I'm gonna let you inside of my head as far as like what I'm looking for. Okay, if you look at this area here, you can see that that's pretty much all the same color, right? And for the most part, that color should extend all the way up here in a straight line. And then we have a highlight here. You guys see the highlight there? That pretty much extends up to our arm too. And then we have this area here, and then we have some shadow. And that's pretty much, it just follows the shape of our arm, right? Like an arm has curvature. We have like, you know, highlight there in the middle. Okay, so when I'm painting, that's what I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do. So on my new layer with my brush tool that's large and has a soft edge brush, a soft edge brush with a brush. We're gonna sample this color. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and I'm gonna sample this color here. Now I'm gonna change my flow to about 20%, okay? This is going to allow me to do a buildup like I'm showing you here. The more and more I paint over it, the more it's gonna build that skin color up over and over again. Okay, so sample this color and now I'm simply just painting right over top of it. All right. and. You may be wondering why we went ahead and used the spot healing brush tool to get rid of the tattoo to begin with. And the reason is because it actually does a much better job. This is for like what I would call like cleaning things up. But keep in mind, all I'm doing is painting with the brush tool here. So I don't have any skin texture. I don't have any like, this is no real detail. This is just like me painting with a brush over top of my image, which it really isn't that bad but it's a lot better to get original detail if you can, and the Spot Healing Brush do, does a much better job with that. So I wanna lay down as little possible ink here as I can. It's not real ink, but you get the idea. I wanna lay it down as little possible ink as I can, and it's gonna help this look a lot more realistic without putting a ton, there we go, putting a ton of paint over top of the image. All right, so if you're new to this, I would recommend spending a little bit of time on it, and that's gonna help you make something that looks a little bit more realistic. All right, there we go, and we're almost done. Okay, for the final test, you wanna zoom out and see, does it look like an arm? Is it blotchy, Is it? <laughs> does it look round? If you guys are new to this, a lot of the times you're gonna get something that looks like this, like it's gonna be like super flat or something like that, right? So just keep in mind, you wanna make sure you sample the colors from the highlights the midtones and the shadows and allow the shadows to kind of like go where they would naturally go. All right, cool, that looks pretty good. So we went from here, let's just zoom in so you guys can see. We went ahead and got rid of the tattoo and then we smoothed all of our skin out. That looks great. Okay, now because we use skin smoothing technique here, which basically basically just a brush tool, what we need to do is add skin texture back. So that's step three. So here in step three, we're adding skin texture back to this image. Now, the technique I'm gonna show you, it's gonna work really well for this image, but it'll actually work for any image. Anytime you need to create some skin texture from scratch, this is the perfect way to do it. All right, let's go ahead and create a new layer here. And then I'm gonna grab my marquee tool and we're gonna make a selection around the area we want to be the new layer. Okay, so right there, that's where I want the skin texture to appear. So we're gonna go to edit and then I'm gonna go to fill 
and we're gonna choose as our contents here, we're gonna choose 50% gray. Now that's important, so 50% gray is what you want. All right, let's go ahead and hit OK. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is change our blending mode from normal down here to overlay. Now, in an overlay blending mode, 50% gray becomes invisible. Anything that's lighter or darker than that does show up. So that's the whole idea. We need that 50% gray as a base layer, and then we're gonna add lighter particles and darker particles. So now we have this area. Remember, it's set to overlay. See if I put it back to normal, it is gray in there. Let's set it back to overlay here. Okay, we're gonna zoom in, we're gonna go to filter, we're gonna go down to noise, and then add noise. Okay. Now let's go ahead and zoom in and you can see what this noise actually looks like on her skin. So I can make this noise you know, more or less here. We can choose to be, have it be monochromatic, which will take away the color. And we can choose it to be uniform or Gaussian. All right, let's go ahead and lower that down just a little bit. And I like how uniform looks. That looks pretty good. So we're gonna hit okay. All right, so we just added noise, which is basically a bunch of little speckles on the skin. Now, it doesn't look like skin texture yet, so we're gonna add a blur, and then we're going to do an emboss, and that's gonna really make it look like it's actual skin texture. All right, let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger, too. I think it needs to be bigger for the skin. It looks a little too small. So I'm gonna hit Command-T, go ahead and scale that up a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna give it that blur. I'm gonna go to Filter, Blur, and we're gonna go to Gaussian Blur. And I just need a really small Gaussian Blur. About one pixel is good. Okay, so that's what our skin texture looks like now. Next, we're gonna go to Filter, we're gonna go to Stylize, and over to Emboss. All right, and then we get something that looks like this. Now, your height and amount here, your amount is basically how like, light and dark you're gonna get, so let's get something that looks <laughs> somewhat natural, like skin texture here. And your height is how much it's actually gonna start to pull or push this skin texture out. So you wanna go, again, for something that looks pretty natural. All right, there we go, that looks pretty good. So what we did, guys, is we added a 50% gray layer, and then we added noise. Then we blurred that noise, and then we added an emboss. And now we have something that looks like skin texture. So all I need to do now is create a black layer mask on this layer, which is going to go ahead and make the entire layer invisible. Okay, and now I simply paint white on my layer mask where I would like this skin texture to show up. All right, which is exactly where you covered up your tattoo. That's, that's where you should make your skin texture show up. If you need to lower the opacity, you can go ahead and do that. All right, and now zooming in, you can see that our skin texture actually is covering up all of the area where we painted. So what we have, there we are, beautiful, is a tattoo completely gone with skin texture intact. All right, guys, let's look at the before and the after. Here's our before image, beautiful girl, giant tattoo. And here is our after. That is pretty amazing. Didn't take too long in Photoshop either. All right guys, there you have it. How to remove a tattoo in Photoshop. Just remember, follow these key steps. First, you wanna take care of the rough removal, which using the spot healing brush tool is really easy. Just make sure you have that content to wear button checked. Paint over the tattoo and it's going to do most of the work for you. Next step is to smooth out that skin. Use the brush tool in a really low flow. Sample the color of the skin using the Alt or Option key and then go ahead and paint skin in. Don't worry about destroying skin texture here because we're gonna be adding it back in the next step. To finish it off, we're creating a 50% gray layer and then adding noise on top of that. Then we gave it a little bit of a blur and then use the emboss filter to create something that looks like skin texture. Simply use a black layer mask to make it invisible everywhere and then paint it back exactly where you want it. And you've got a completely new arm with no tattoo. All right guys, that's the end of today's episode. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed hanging out and learning more about Photoshop and photography sounds like something you want in your future, go and hit that subscribe button on your screen now. We'll send you free episodes every single week. They'll be just like this one, It'll be great. I love it. If you have any questions about today's episode or just in general, go ahead and leave it in a comment right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Guys, thanks so much. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Which we're going to do. <laughs> la, 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 la. And the last step is, and the last step, and the last step is, cool. All right. And then, la, 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 la. all right. So now when you want to remove your tramp stamp in your daughter's wedding pictures, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Thanks so much for watching Flurn, guys. I hope you uh, really liked this. Thanks for. So
glad I've been watching Florin. Thanks so much for watching Florin, guys. I hope you hung out with me. That, no, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and the next time you want to remove a tattoo, this went nowhere. Thanks for hanging out with me on Florin. <laughs> I can't talk. I hope you enjoyed it and the next time your tattoo removal skills are required, you know how to do it. Tattoo. 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 Do you think we got any bloopers?